States today. In the meantime, President Mahmoud Abbas has officially changed the name of the Palestinian administration to the State of Palestine. But despite this and a recent status upgrade by the UN, the nation still remains all but united. As Artie's Paula Salir reports, thousands of families are torn in two by Israeli borders. This is the Erez Crossing, one of five land crossings between Israel and Gaza. Getting through here is tough. You need the right permission and papers. But this crossing does not just separate Israel from Gaza. It also divides families who are trapped on either side of the border. These are the tears of a boy who hasn't seen his father in three years. Mohammed al Kajaran left Gaza in search of a better life for his family. But what he found on the other side of the border was loneliness and despair. And what he left behind, distress and fear. I miss my father a lot and I want to see him. I'm afraid a lot. My father must come back here or we must go and live with him. But he can't come and we can't go. All they have now to remind them of him are photographs and the occasional phone call. I can't live like this anymore. I'm sick. I'm having a nervous breakdown. This happens when a man is very sad and when he has a lot of pressure on his soul and heart. This family is just one of thousands torn apart by Israel's separation policy that makes it almost impossible to move between the West Bank and Gaza. It was only after Mohammed had moved that he found out his family could not follow. Because while he and one of his children have West Bank identity papers, his wife and four other children don't, for reasons unknown to them. It was a big surprise for me. They told me there is a possibility of changing it, so I sent the papers. Up until now they have the file, but they refuse to give permission for them to come. I can't give up on my kids but I also want to give them a future. Israel says the West Bank is a closed military zone and it has the right to prevent people from entering it, even those from Gaza. But Palestinians have extensive family ties in both areas and the policy affects just about everyone. There are a number of policies that explicitly say that um, family separation is not a justification for being allowed to enter the West Bank. So even if there's no security claim against an individual, even if there's no question that that m mother is separated from her child, that's not enough to justify travel. International law protects freedom of movement, and Israel itself has recognized Gaza and the West Bank as a single territorial unit. But that's not enough to guarantee something people in the rest of the world take for granted. A couple from different cities wanting to get married, or a father looking for work. The children miss him so much. They hold his pictures and cry. When they speak with him on the phone, they say, Dad, it's enough, come back. And he says, I can't, I want to bring you all to the West Bank. We want to go and live with him. It will be safer for the children, and they'll have a better life. It's a choice no father should have to make, to be separated from his family so he can provide for them, or join them and together face a bleak future. Paulus Lear RT, Israel, Gaza.